Good day YouTube. Today we'll be planning and executing a low-level fast jet flight through LFA-7 and LFA-17. We'll be using uh, a real 29 Squadron Typhoon and in the sim a Just Flight Typhoon. The tools we'll use are Plan G for flight planning by Tim Arnott and Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator with some add-ons. Our route will be from RAF Coningsby in the east of England over to uh, Wales, West Wales, the Mac Loop, and then up to the Lake District and back to Coningsby. When we get to the Mac Loop, um, it's a, a circular area and we'll be flying anti-clockwise around this area, entering at about the two o'clock position. We're in the flight planning software, so we'll now set up our plan. Go to find, type in the code for RAF Coningsby, which is uh, E G X C Connectly pops up, and uh, we say OK to that. And now the the map centers on Connectly there. We position the cursor over it, right click on it, and start our flight plan at Connectly. We'll set some of the other parameters up now. So the altitude is going to be. Um, We'll be transiting at high level, so we'll put in 40,000. Uh, the speed we want um, in transit is 500 knots, that's fine. And the start position brings up uh, Coningsby, all the various positions that are available there. We want to be starting on the runway, uh, runway 25. Put that one in, then come over to the west. So we'll be transiting across England and coming down into uh, Wales here, into the circular area, which is the Mac Loop. So we're coming over at high level. We'll need to descend uh, down to about um, 300 feet here. So to start our descent, we'll mark uh, a place and we'll choose somewhere obvious. Shawbury's pretty much en route. So we'll choose Shawbury as a uh, waypoint and add that to our plan. And we get a marker coming in like so. So we start our descent down towards the Mac loop. Let's zoom in a bit. And we're aiming to come in at about the two o'clock position. Um, cheating a bit, but it suits our purpose. So we'll come in at Malwood here, target Malwood and add that as the user waypoint. Uh, we have to do um, the loop anti-clockwise, so we'll come up the valleys following the road uh, down to Machindleth, so we'll add a waypoint there. Following the valleys back and uh, transiting up to the Lake District from there. So we'll go up now to the Lake District. So we're aiming to come in the southern end here. Uh, and follow the valley up and then this road up to Keswick, go north of Keswick and then return to Coningsby. Um, once again, we'll transit high level, so we need to do a letdown. We'll start probably at Blackpool. So I'll put that in as a waypoint. And then aim for a entry at this point here. Good road feature, add a waypoint. Up the valley, north of Keswick to, there's a junction there. I'll put a waypoint there as well. And then turn right and head back down south to Coningsby. I want to do a, an ILS approach, an instrument landing system approach to Coningsby. So I'll need to go further east and then turn right again and uh, follow the funnel onto 2.5. I'll just put in the um, ILS markers. We can see where they are. So Spilsby is a good point to head for. Add that as a waypoint, then right turn into the um, ILS and land at Coningsby. So our final waypoint is at Coningsby itself, which completes our plan. I can then look at the, um, the data. So there's our waypoints, our headings, and the time for each leg. So now we have a plan and we can. Go back to the Home tab 
there is a connection I can hear that will connect us to um, Flight Simulator X. And when that happens, all this um, planning data will transfer to the flight simulator and guide us uh, around uh, the course. So that's our planning done. Canopy's closed, rolls are up, engines are started and taxiing out for runway 25. The QFP is set on 012, weather looks lovely. And lined up. On the threshold of runway 25 at Coningsby. Final checks complete. We have clearance for takeoff. Powering up. All in the green. Looking for 150 to rotate. Nose real straight. Just lift the nose off. There's 150. Airborne. Safely climbing. Gear selected up. Gears up. Lights out. Gear is up. Positive rate of climb. Zoom climb at 220. Zarek Cramble on the nose. Coming up nicely. There's the wash in the background. Ease off the climb. And into cruise. All instruments looking good. So, following our course towards Wales. Now, level 40,000 feet, we are clear, unrestricted descent. Over banking, AG, pulling down, idle, leaving 40,000 to 10,000. Lead looks good, weather looks beautiful. So we're now level 10,000 feet, low level checks are complete. Leeds jet looks good from 30 feet. We're clear for low level. And down. Air brake out. Descending through the flag towards Wales. Just entering the Max Loop now. Joining at Malwood, following the A470. Speed set for 250. Setting up the spur. Hard right turn. Out of the spur. Bill Gessley on the nose. Heading for the big lump, 11 o'clock, good it out. Entering the McCutland Loop, North Wales. Hard bank to the left, lining up the overbank to the right. Overbanking, 5G over the top, speed now 420 knots. Back down 250 feet, valley wall flashing past the left hand side. At west on the right, 
heading down towards the lake, Chorus Corner. Hard left turn coming up very shortly. Set up for the turn. Hard left into Chorus Corner. Power up. Cut the corner a bit there. Into the wooded windy bit. King Arthur's Labyrinth. Keep the speed up. For Hentleth, two o'clock, turning left up the river valley, River Dobie. Back towards the northern end of the loop. When we get to the spur, we'll exit from the spur. Spur coming into view. Set up the right-hander. Safely through the loop, heading north now up towards the Lake District. Just past Blackpool, our waypoint. Starting our descent now towards the lake. Hairbreak out. the mayor at one o'clock. We're heading for Newby Bridge. The weather looks good ahead, lining up the valley. Fan speed now coming up 480 knots. Positioning for the overbank. Waiting for the lead. There goes the lead and overbanking 5G over the top. Throttles back set back into low level. Low height warner, reset, and draws final. Height 500 feet descending. 400, 350 checks, 300, level 250 feet. Lead 6 o'clock is clear. Quick fuel check, fuel's good, for joker walk. Okay, crossing right to left on the lead. Approaching the north of the Lake District this time. Oh, 
hard right turn now through the valley, 3G. Speed stable at 420. Height 250 feet through the M6 pass. Slight over bank, cross back. Allow the nose to come down. Maintain the 250 feet. Quick check to the left, it's clear. Stable on a heading at 360. Wings level. Approaching the north of the Lake District now. Carlisle's just on the nose. Six miles, weather looks good for the pullout. Pulling out over Keswick. There's Keswick on our left. Dew and water just beyond. We're heading south again, there's Keswick and Derwent Water. And we're looking south now, down the Lake District. Setting course for Coningsby. Now level 10,000 feet. Please check looks good. Panels are checked. The QFE is set for RF Coningsby 1012, recovering runway 25. Now in the descent, we're clear to 1,000 feet for the circuit. Here we are positioned RF Coningsby runway 25. Waiting for the lead to break to the left. There goes the lead. And I'm full back stick, 6G. Speed, 300. 250. 200. Down comes the gear. Three Ds. Three Ds. Lined up on Conning Speed 25. Gear is down. Air brakes out. Slightly high. ILS is on. Lineup's good, slightly high. Throttling back and flare. And touch. Shoot out. And that was the flight. Our thanks to Metropolis and Jamie Norris. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.